In this video, I'm going to use uh, actual numbers reported by the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre for 2024 so far. So as of March 31st, 2024, they have 10,735 reports um, processed by the Anti-Fraud Centre. That averages out to 3,578 reports per month so far in 2024 for the first three months of the year. Uh, and the losses total to $123 million in losses uh, in the first quarter of 2024 alone. I could also just write this as million. Make that a little bit easier to read. Okay, so let's assume that these numbers of reports follow a Poisson distribution. That might or might not be the case. In this case, you would need to look at the data much more in depth and look at each of the uh, reports that comes through, how frequent they are, the numbers of them, the volumes per day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, let's just assume, for simplicity, um, that those reports do follow a Poisson distribution. Then we could analyze that number of reports coming in using our Poisson distribution um, theory and use that Poisson dot this to do our calculation. So what we're gonna look at is the probability of there being um, at most the average number of reports coming in for May. So what is the probability that there's at most 3,578 frauds reported in the month of May? Um, so we have an average of 3,578 reports per month and we actually have an upper limit that we're going to use for our x value of 3,578 as well. We're going to use Poisson.dist to get the probability, x value the 3,578, and our average the 3,578. And this is the first time we're going to use cumulative equal to true just going to copy this formula so you can see it again down below. Okay. So if we do a Poisson dot disk with cumulative equal to true here, it's going to give us the probability of up to 3,578 frauds um, being reported in the month of May. Notice that's almost 50%. Um, we're getting the probability of at most the average occurring. That's roughly half the data that lies below the average. Uh, if we were dealing with what's called a normal distribution, which we will look at in um, several sections later, uh, then you'd get a perfectly 50% probability here. Okay. Um, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.